Welcome to Shanghai for the fourth IMS Asia Pacific. I'm Pete Tong, one of the co-founders of the International Music Summit. For two days, artists and industry leaders from East and West united for insightful panels, keynotes and workshops. IMS Asia Pacific kicked off with the dance music study presented by Nielsen, which revealed new insights into the growing region. Korea, out of those five countries, has the most respondents who said that they listen to dance music. Some of the biggest topics facing the region were addressed including streaming, the preservation of dance music culture, emerging markets, nurturing the underground and creating a greener music festival. We have over 300,000 I mean, downloads for each day and more than 620,000 playlists a day. In Asia you had this thriving underground scene and then it suddenly died out. I'd like to see more diversity, really, like in terms of the musical playground. You know, I think it's, there's too much of something that's not really good. And I'm kind of glad of what I see, at least in my market, that a lot of people are moving away from the commercial EDM and they're trying to explore other things. I think that's very, very important. Ultimately, when we started out, we knew that we wanted to make impact. And that was the intention, that was the foundation of why we started Wonderfruit. The speakers from leading companies including Warner Music, Billboard China, Pioneer DJ, Paradigm Talent Agency and AFEM explore challenges and opportunities in the region. Look at the data. Electronic dance music are the second most popular music genre other than pop. I have no doubt that Asia will play a huge role in spearheading this industry's growth. The focus at the moment is to find local talent and yeah, break it out and go global. My advice to uh, folks in this industry is make sure your book is clean, pay your tax. This year's theme, The Digital Storm, was addressed by Laidback Luke in a rare keynote about the impact of the digital era on DJing and production. And, and we're talking about reinventing DJing and this is all possible due to new technologies. Brazilian superstar Alok and other professionals also reflected on the global digital explosion and how to adapt. Like for me, for example, I have like a track which has now like achieved half billion views, which growing up in Europe, in Brazil, blah, blah. when I got here in China, and no one knows it, you know, because they really like closed market here. Scarlett Lee, Vice President at CMC Holdings, delivered a keynote on how to maximize potential and identify opportunities in the largest growing market in electronic music. I think music is becoming even more important. So we think by 2020, there will be two billion US dollar market for subscribed paid streaming service. Workshops throughout the two days offered engaging lessons from Pioneer DJ, Point Blank Music School and artist Laidback Luke, Unity and more. What that actually means is you can actually reassign these buttons to different effects. Thank you to our delegates, speakers and sponsors for being part of this year's IMS Asia Pacific.